How to befriend a crow. Part 3. Be mindful. You have discovered a pair of crows in your environment. You have studied this species. You know what they prefer to eat, but every time you approach them with food, they fly away or only eat when you are gone. Remember that this is a wild animal. Wild animals have a healthy innate shyness towards humans. Crows live very close to us humans. They have adapted perfectly to our way of life. But although they live around us, with us in our cities, they are shy. Maybe you have noticed that crows do not like to be looked at directly. You walk by a crow, for example, maybe even quite close, and it behaves really relaxed. But as soon as you stop and look at it, the crow will immediately jump off or fly away. The reason for this is our eyes. Our eyes are located in the front of the face, just like in predators. In animals that feed mainly on plants, the eyes are on the side of the head. They need the eyes for defense to keep an eye on the whole environment in case there is an enemy nearby. Crows pay attention to our gaze. This has been proven by studies. Now, if you encounter a crow, you can avoid a flight reaction by directing your gaze. At the beginning, it is enough to put out food and then retreat. After a while, you can try to sit down at some distance from the feeding place. Pay close attention to the animal's behavior. Non-verbal signs such as flight posture and gaze. Does the bird seem tense, duck away, avoid eye contact or just jump back and forth? These are signs of fear. In the beginning, it may be necessary to turn your whole head to the side or turn your, even your back to the crows. By the way, this is the reason why I started filming the crows. I just wanted to see what was going on behind my back. This gives the bird the opportunity to stay and look at you more closely, to get to know you. It can learn to judge your behavior and just get used to your presence. Once you know each other a little bit better, you can use the old gaze. This is an open, non-pointing look in the approximate direction of the animal. This look seems non-threatening and gives you the opportunity to look at the bird in an indirect way. You can now put out your food and stay close by while they eat. Sit quietly and avoid quick movements. The distance depends on the behavior of the animal. You can try gradually putting the food closer to you. Once they get used to you and get close, you can hold out food to them with your hand. Again, I would recommend that you turn your head away and lower your gaze at the beginning. Make sure that there is a suitable place for them to sit in front of your hand. In the last part of this mini-series, we will talk about our mindset during the approach to a wild animal.